But what they don't have is a leader that makes a difference. They don't have any leaders in the Bahamas. They have a president. We have a president and a whole bunch of leaders. So if what I say, the leader doesn't accept, you will never hear it. So when I left Washington, D.C., the Raybon building, Capitol Hill with Michael Jackson, I went to Mr. Jesse Jackson, Jr. I said, sir, are you going to tell the black people of the world that there was a cure for AIDS? I doubt it. And I walk away. Did he tell you? No! No! He didn't. He wasn't, so not, he wasn't supposed to tell you guys anything. Why should he? Wouldn't that undermine the position of himself and his daddy? You see, we are accustomed to following leaders. Why? I don't know. When I came home, my mom was vagina. That was it. <laughs> For me, to compromise myself, I couldn't do it. So here I am now, about 80 years of age next year, with babies coming on the way. Again. And I don't like this. Can I, I do not like coming in front of you. Because I'm not better than you. I'm not smarter than you. I am not smart. I am not intelligent. I am not a man. I want you to remember that. That Dr. Sebi said that he is not a man. Because if you ask him what is that, I don't know. By gender, I'm a male, am I right? What makes me a man? I don't know and I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so you got someone in front of you that loves the devil, that isn't a man, but curates. So what do we do now? <laughs> what are we going to do now? Are we going to take this entity and put it towards the world? We, the black race, your race, not Dr. C.B. Am I not your brother? Yes. Am I not the sum total of you standing here? Yes. So why do you say, keep your race, not us? We feel that the break down. The German told me that the only people that could help me would be you, but you cannot help me. So what I did, I galvanized a group of women, which is 10. They took over the business. I'm here talking to you tonight, but I don't think anybody is going to hear me talking first again, because I don't do this anymore. That's right. It is necessary. You don't need to be talked to. What I have in my head, you got more and better. But yes, brothers and sisters, you've been here a long time tonight. And I don't want to hold you up anymore because talking and talking and talking and talking and there's no production. That's right. But before I end, we have a village that we just remodeled, a very beautiful village. People go there from all over the world. One that I designed to represent Africa, meaning clean. Clean, I mean clean. And the offering, Unequal. We prevailed over the position. We no longer have to be afraid. Yes, it's on the internet. I curate and other diseases. They cannot stop that now, isn't it? No. So what are we gonna do? Move forward. Lay back on it and say, well, he curates. No big thing. Well, to me. It doesn't hurt. It hurts only because I'm interested in you. So when I go home to my glass house, I just built a glass house, you know. I built it for my wife now because she bought a glass house. That's right. So I live in a glass house, quite comfortable. But am I comfortable when I think of you? Knowing the situation, that there aren't anybody out there that's interested in your health.
there aren't any government, there aren't any leaders except these that are interested in you. Hey. I mean, Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, Arthur Mack, Mason, Maddox. Well, let me say this about Arthur Maddox. <laughs> I was in California, and he was on the radio talking from New York, and somebody asked him, do you know Dr. Sebi? He said, of course I know Dr. Sebi. I'm on the line. I'm on the telephone. He doesn't know it. <laughs> I supported Dr. Sebi. He's a liar. <laughs> I said, I'm Dr. Sebi speaking to you, brother. How did you support me? I was sitting in the audience. I said, that's a support. You see? All these people that we depend on, I didn't. From a little boy. Remember, I didn't go to school. And I don't read anybody's book. <laughs> because that is a duration. That's like a gorilla taking her cups to betray my polar bears. <laughs> I'm not a European. I could see. I'm like the Maya. I'm like the ancient blacks that didn't need the school. Why do we need it now? What are we doing with it? In fact, when my mama was naked in the forest, they were doing quite well. Why can't we go back to that? Oh no, our body doesn't look too good. We got these big bellies now. <laughs> we got two of us hanging off of us. It looks kind of funny. Telling us that we should look back again to mama. Mama always has been the answer. You are the last audience in front of my eyes. Thank you very much.